Microsoft's AI tool Copilot is getting its biggest update since its launch. During the Wave 2 event, Microsoft announced many exciting new features. From AI that helps you prioritize your emails, to Copilot in Excel with Python integration, to the brand new collaborative edit page feature, and much more. Hey guys, Dave here, I'm a Microsoft MVP and in today's video I will highlight the new features of Microsoft Copilot as well as when they will be available for you. You want to make sure to stay until the end because the feature that I'm the most excited about is the Copilot and PowerPoint narrative builder that is coming out soon. As usual, timestamps down in the description below, feel free to skip to the chapter of your choice and enjoy the video. Copilot in Outlook Microsoft realized that inbox chaos was a kinda popular disease. <laughs> Copilot in Outlook introduces a brand new feature that prioritizes your emails. It analyzes the content of your emails and your role to prioritize them, and it also explains why. You can sort your emails by priority and even teach Copilot which emails are important to you, allowing it to learn from your preferences. I honestly can't wait to try the tool and according to Microsoft, this feature will be available in preview late 2024. Copilot Pages On top of rebranding their Copilot Central Hub to BizChat, Yes, the tool that you see on the screen right now is getting a new name. Microsoft is introducing Copilot Pages, a new canvas tool designed for multiplayer AI collaboration. You know, every time you prompt, you always lose your prompt and you can't really share it with your team. Well, Canvas is here to fix this issue. I will say that it immortalizes AI content. In this new version, when you prompt Copilot, you will see an option that pops Edit in Pages. This Canva pops and you can quickly share AI results and information with your colleagues. You can switch Copilot to work mode and then add a document from your company's internal documents. Personally, I think this sounds really cool on paper, but I don't really see the difference between a Word document that you share with your team and that you can just tag people and then copy paste, you know, a good old copy paste. But I'm excited where Microsoft leads this feature in the future. Microsoft said that they are rolling this right now, so you should see it appear in your Copilot very, very soon. New LLM GPT 4.0 this feature is probably the feature I'm the most excited about. Okay, I said it was PowerPoint earlier, but you know, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But Microsoft are bringing over the latest model from OpenAI, GPT-40, which makes Copilot way faster. Indeed, Microsoft states that Copilot responses are more than two times faster on average. And to be honest with you, I really do believe them because I was still using a lot of ChatGPT because it was on the 4.0 model and it is an insane model that goes faster, that can analyze spreadsheets, can analyze PDF, can give you a lot of detail. Microsoft only said a few words about the latest model, which does complex reasoning, the O1 model open 01 from OpenAI. They didn't say when it's going to be released at all, but more info on the video here. Actually, last Friday, I made a comparison between the two models and 01 is very different. It's a different beast. It's really amazing, but more on this on the video here. If this video has been useful so far, make sure to boop the like button so it helps more people. <laughs> Copilot in Excel. Copilot in Excel is now generally available, but what does that mean? It means that Copilot in Excel just before that was actually in preview mode, which means it was an incomplete feature. What Microsoft are now saying is that you can now use Copilot in Excel without having your data set as a table, but I will still advise to use tables because they are really useful in organizing your data and using very, very cool features. This change is available right now, but the big news in the Excel space is that Copilot is getting Python. What does it mean? It means that we now have a programming language in Excel, as previously announced by Microsoft a while ago. But guess what? 
Copilot in Excel with Python is there to help you code. If like me you're not used to this, well Copilot will be here to help you. I can show you Copilot in Excel with Python, I don't have access yet, it's going to be in preview mode and you should see it appear in your Microsoft Excel very soon, but just think about this like this is the most powerful programming language in the world and Microsoft advertises that it's going to be able to forecast your next two years of revenue if you have your data from the three previous years by instance and I don't doubt Microsoft about that because Python is amazing and I had to use it a little bit in my career but not that much and it can do really crazy things. Copilot in PowerPoint Narrative Builder the feature I'm the most excited about is Copilot in PowerPoint Narrative Builder. Even though I like the current Microsoft Copilot in PowerPoint, I kind of feel like it was a, some kind of wish version or a cheap version of Copilot. Copilot Narrative Builder helps you work with Copilot like a real planner and partner. You can iterate with Copilot or PowerPoint to build your first draft in seconds. Copilot then craft an outline for you to revise and adjust. And I love the fact that you can add specific part to your PowerPoint and then you have a real plan for your PowerPoint. Now this feature is pretty amazing. Remember when I asked Copilot to make a presentation about David Fortin, a chartered professional accountant that runs the Piggy Bank Accountant YouTube channel and it came up with this? <laughs> Well, not a problem anymore. In Copilot in PowerPoint, you'll have the brand manager tool where you'll be able to add pictures from your brand or company and pick from these in a library. I really love how flexible the tool looks like and I will 100% use this in the near future. For the release date, Microsoft said soon. So it's Microsoft soon. I'm not too sure what that means. <laughs> Microsoft briefly mentioned other features such as Copilot in Word updates, Copilot in OneDrive, and the ability to build Copilot agents. I didn't find them as much as a game changer versus what I just discussed, but if you want more details, the links are in the description below. If you feel behind on AI and Copilot, I have made multiple videos available in the playlist that will pop somewhere on your screen. If you want to download this free cheat sheet that was downloaded by more than 500 people, feel free, the description is down in the description below. And I made a two hour class on Microsoft Copilot. So if you want to get the best gold nuggets, if a formula in Excel is struggling for you, if you want to build presentation in seconds, if you want to learn how to use the tool, I made a course Microsoft Copilot from AI beginner to profession that has been enjoyed by a lot of people already. All right, catch you soon in another video. Cheers.